Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Parker. Hope everyone is doing well here today. There was an M4 right up there. As well as this is gonna go and be... Oh, come on! Huh? Oh, hey. <laughs> um, hello there, my friend. Quervo, come on! Dude, I hate the AGR so much. I, maybe I'm alone in this sentiment. Guys, I, I want to go and start a petition to remove AGR as ground loot. Come on! Okay, Batsito! Uh, boys, there's gonna be two more men. Oh, is he pushing on up? But, uh, guys, we do have a primary topic that I do want to go and talk about during today's video. And, in my opinion, it's actually something like, bro, it's gonna sound so conspiracy theorist, if that's like a word. But I genuinely believe that something big just went and happened in Kodem, at least for me. Maybe not for you guys here. Oh, come on. Yes! Good, good. Like, guys, y'all know me here. I am... Uh, I'm more than willing to go and mention whenever Kodem is going and feeling really weird for me, really clunky, right? Like, I made that whole video a week ago, going and saying, like, guys, I, I don't know what to tell you. This game is feeling really bad. But for some weird reason, for the past two days, this game, honestly, has felt very, very, very good. Oh, we got a gentleman right here. Okay, we have to do... Oh, shockwave. Yes. So, going more into that here, too. Like, what I mean by the game feeling good, the core in-game mechanics, inputs, those two things have felt really good. Uh, they've been really reliable. It's been super smooth. And it's something like, bro, this is the... Oh, and that is a sniper. Like, this is the type of Call of Duty mobile that I originally went and fell in love with here, man. Like, there is no other way around it. Like, I always knew, especially when the game felt really, really just buggy, that, oh, bro, like, this isn't caught in right now. But just at least for whatever they wanted did here for the past two days, it has been feeling so silky smooth here. And I have a little bit of a feeling that I know why it's been feeling that way. Oh, this man has sucked such drone. Okay. Ow! Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Have your boy go and suck me off. We're going to go and do one of these here. Come on, Odin. Yes. Oh, sir. Um, wait. What are you trying to go and do here? No! Oh, this man. Okay, this dude is falling on off. Oh, and there's going to be some boys up over there. Okay, I think I know. Ouch! I think I know how I want to go and approach this here. Oh, come on, sir. Oh! Bro, this angle is not doing it here for me. Come on! Yes! Good. I hope. Oh! But guys, right? Like, y'all probably all remember the games of me going and complaining about how my sensitivity has been feeling weird all this types of stuff well i haven't really encountered any of that here for the past two days also there's going to be two gentlemen that are right below me here i think i might go and do a little maneuver like this oh like i could go and be aggressive with shockwave oh bro this might be this might be a bad idea here I know that. Oh, hold up. Okay. Let's just YOLO here, man. Yo! Beautiful. And let it be known that I have not went and tweaked a single thing with my sensitivity. I just left everything the same because I knew that it it wasn't a sensitivity issue, like a setting thing that went and changed. Like I had a feeling it was just the game that was going in and acting all funky here. Oh, is he right behind? He might be right behind that big rock here. We're gonna lead. Oh, shockwave, come on. Do it again. Good. Yes. But one thing that I've noticed is that my lobbies have been significantly easier from what it's normally like. Which has been interesting. This is why I'm kind of coming to this type of conclusion here. But dude, I have this feeling. Oh, come on. How? I have this feeling here that Cod M, for however long now, they have been going and prioritizing like a better skill-based matchmaking. 
Oh, come on. Then compared to, oh, uh, like a better... Oh, wait. That other guy's 110% getting rezzed on up there. I don't have any, like, cluster nades to go and do anything. Good. And then this dude. Oh, we just went and rewinded back. Oh, come on. Dude. Oh my god, dude. All he had to do was just stay right behind that green. But I feel like Kadem has went and prioritized skill-based matchmaking over just, uh, like, where people are located in terms of where you are. Like, I felt like I was getting lobbies all the way in EU just based off how sweaty it felt. And even though my MS, what, like, right now it says 25, I have a better feeling that that might actually be accurate now, but it used to go and say, like, 10 MS, but... And this happened all the way from like a year ago here too. I never felt like I was genuinely getting 10 MS ever in a game. Like are there still weird little things that go and happen in the game? Yes, like is there sometimes like a little bit of a laggy response when going and doing inputs? Yes, but it is not as bad as it was for how many ever months for me. Like I said, I'm recording this video May 2nd and the game is feeling the exact same way when I originally went and fell in love with it here, man. This dude is landing up on top of that. And then this dude is also going to go and be... Pretty sure this guy's going to go and be real. Yo. Oh, no, he... <gasps> okay, right, like, weird stuff like this that will go and happen. But I would rather have weird stuff like that happen than just my game feeling sluggish. Like, it not going and inputting quick enough here. And it almost leads me to believe that this is somehow, like, connected with the ranking system. At least in the Battle Royale here for me, too. Because I feel like something... Well, whenever, like, a new rank season goes and happens in the game, the game, historically speaking, from my perspective, always feels super weird upon its release. And I, is that a... oh. Come down to Poppy. Come down to Poppy. Yes! Oh my god. Fan did not even go and land. And like, bro, guys, I gotta be honest here. Like, 10 out of 10 times, I would go and sacrifice having a better video game experience if that means that I'm going up against, like, easier enemies. That's not to go and say that these enemies are completely trash that I'm going up here. Um, it's just like, bro, I was in lobbies that it was just a full team Four men dropping on you here, like pulling up in a car, a heli, with just uh, custom HSO shotties. But now it, it just, the game feels good. The enemies are easier, but like, I don't have any of that weird performance issues going on. Sniper La Donna. Oh, oh, sir. Bro, he just wanted jetpack the moment I went and did that. Okay. Two teams left. I see. Here, we're gonna toss out a whole lot of these. I have a feeling. Oh! Wait. Um. But right, like, guys. Oh, come on. I know that you're right over there. Um. Right, like, this is just something that's out of my control. This is all Kadem's doing. If I could get sweatier lobbies while at the same time having the game feel good, I would love that. But. Like, dude, it, it's just, it is what it is. Also, I really hope that I'm not going and jinxing this here. Because there is a very good possibility that this is still going to go and somehow spawn out of nowhere here. But at least for right now, I am just enjoying myself here thoroughly. Oh, and that dude's going to go. Oh, no. Oh, smart. Okay, that was actually 200 IQ, but I just wanted to give everyone here an update. Game feels good. If there are like a couple videos that come out here in which I'm complaining, that was probably from like prior from two days ago. But other than that, I'm really enjoying the state of COD Mobile here right now.